Hey everyone, El Sayed here with realestatesiny.com answering another one of your real estate questions. A lot of you guys have been asking me about investment properties and where to even start when you're buying a property as an investment and not as a place to live. The first thing you gotta do is get yourself in the money mindset. To me, the money mindset is realistically taking a look at the numbers on a property and seeing if they make sense. A lot of buyers get flustered and discouraged when they hear all the different terms used in commercial real estate. Between ROI, camp charges, and gross versus net profit, it's easy to get lost in the world of investments. So let me simplify. The most important thing when looking for an investment is to make sure that your net profit, what you take home after all expenses, is 50 to 75% of the gross income, which is the money you get before expenses. So let's use a real world example. Let's say you buy a home and you rent it for like $1,000 a month, that's $12,000 a year. You need to make sure that you're taking home at least half of that, so $6,000. Number one, so that you can make profit. And number two, so that you can have money put aside for unexpected things that you have to pay out of pocket for as a landlord. That leads to another thing to remember for your first investment property. Don't take your profits and run. Make sure you manage your profits well and save a good portion of it so that you're ready for the expenses that pop up. It seems like such a common sense approach, but this is a place where a lot of investors fail and dig themselves into a hole. Set a goal of money that you will set aside and don't let yourself go off track. Well, that's all for today, but be sure to tune in next Wednesday when I answer another one of your real estate questions. Be sure to like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube, and follow us on all your favorite social media so you can ask your own real estate question. Bye for now.